Hey everyone, it's Michelle from Nannies on Call. We're bringing you new videos each week to educate and inspire you to be the best nanny you can be. Let's get right to it today because I know everyone wants to earn an extra $10,000 in 2021. Recently, I saw an Instagram post and you may have seen it as well. It was, if you waste $27 a day in a year, you will have spent $10,000. And I thought to myself, that can't be right. That's $10,000 an insane amount of money. And I got on my calculator and I did the math and 27 is rounded. It's like 2713, I think. I, I can't even believe it. I'm, I'm pretty good with my money. I'm pretty conservative with my money. And I thought, how many times have I stopped for coffee, grabbed lunch out, grabbed an extra snack at the store that I did not need, grabbed an extra sweater or a piece of jewelry. It's so easy to blow $10,000, or sorry, $10,000 in a year, $27 a day, it's like nothing. And so I thought, I, I gotta do something about that, but I like to think of things in a positive way. If spending $27 a day adds up to $10,000 a year, then what if I made an extra $27 a day? That would be the easiest way to get $10,000 more in my bank account. So I started thinking, what are some ways nannies could make an extra $10,000 a year? And I came up with five things that you can do this year to make that extra money. Let's break it down a little more before we get started. So $27 a day works out to about $190 a week. Weekly, if you average $20 an hour, you need to work an extra nine and a half hours a week. Of course, if you can make more than 25 an hour, you're gonna have to work less. And if you make less than 25 an hour, you're gonna have to work more. But that's kind of the average I'm gonna use, $20 an hour. I think most of the skills nannies have are worth at least that. So let's get right into it. Tip number one is get a side hustle. This is all over the internet, I know. You may have already heard this before, but it's really easy as a nanny to get a side hustle as a babysitter in the evenings or the weekends. So again, if you're working at $20 an hour as a babysitter, you only have to work nine and a half hours. So that's a couple of four and a half hour shifts around per week. That's nothing. That's a weeknight for mom and dad to get a break. That's a Saturday of helping out so that mom and dad can run errands. Whatever it is, it's really easy to make that extra money. You can do it through an agency like Nannies on Call. We have nannies on our roster. We have families coming in all the time looking for babysitters. They call and they book. Nannies work as much or as little as they want. Over the last 20 years of business, I can't even tell you how many nannies have come to us and said they've bought cars, paid off loans, paid off student loans. They use it for their extra spending money, kind of like we were talking about at the beginning. So it can be done. If you don't have an agency in your area, you can go to Facebook groups or online to find families in your neighborhood or go old school. My daughters posted in our neighborhood on the telephone poles and they got lots of local clients. It's just really an easy thing when you already love and work with kids. Now there's gonna be some of you who say, but Michelle, I'm exhausted at the end of the day. I already work with kids nine hours a day. I just can't even take it on anymore. I get it. I get it, I really do. Some of you work very long hours already. So if you don't wanna do that, just Google side hustle online and you'll find lots. Do you wanna drive for Uber? Do you wanna do food delivery, grocery delivery, grocery packaging? There are so many options these days where you can find these jobs online that you can just sign up to do whenever you want. It's a gig economy and it's a great way to make extra money. Tip two, ask for a raise at your current job. Now, $10,000 is likely too much to ask for a raise in one year. The percentage, I don't know what you make, but the percentage would be astronomical. So I get it. But if you can ask for a raise and get part of the money, part of the $10,000 you're looking to make extra this year, if you can get part of that by getting a raise, that would be great. I'm gonna do another video, so I can't link it yet, but I do have it on my list of how to ask for a raise. So look for that video in the future. But really sit down, figure out what your job responsibilities are, figure out maybe there are some extra responsibilities you can help the family with. You know, are you okay cleaning or cooking? Maybe they'll pay you extra money to prep their dinner every night. Maybe they're paying a housekeeper and instead you can do it. 
Maybe it's just time for a raise. There's, there's lots of reasons. So look at what the going rate in your neighborhood is, figure out what you're making and see if there is a way that you can add extra value and get more money out of the current job you're in without doing much else than working for the family you're already working for. Okay. The third suggestion is to be a tutor. There has never been a better time to be a tutor online. Well, now it's online because of COVID, there are so many opportunities for tutoring and there are so many places to do it. So you can do that from the comfort of your own home via Zoom or FaceTime, lots of different opportunities. And it really depends on your background and your experience. Do you have an education degree? Do you have um, an English degree, a science degree? Whatever it is, you need to utilize your skills. Tutors online are making between 25 and a hundred dollars an hour. Maybe you only need to work an hour or two extra a week if you're tutoring. So you can either sign up for a company or go it alone and build your own client base. But I know I've hired many tutors for my children and I've just actually found them in Facebook groups or uh, word of mouth really, as soon as they, they get a couple of clients. I asked a friend and they referred the tutor. So you can make a lot of money tutoring and it's never been a better time with COVID, kids staying home from school, parents being at their limit. Um, so give online tutoring a, a try if you have any kind of language, degrees, background in teaching, whatever it is, I'm sure you can handle it and you just need to put it yourself out there and give it a try. This next one's gonna be a little controversial because you're gonna have to spend money to make money and that's not really the point of this video. But I really do think getting some extra education is gonna help a lot of you. Saying you love to work with children is not enough. Being up on the latest techniques, having some education, some certificates behind you is going to earn you more money in the long run. So a lot of these courses are being avail are available online right now because of COVID classes in class is not available. So these are things you can do at night in your spare time, things like a newborn care certificate, an ABA certificate, a special needs certificate, autism, ECE. There's so many different options depending on what you are interested in. You should definitely go with something you're interested in. Some of these courses might be seven hours, eight hours. You can do it in one weekend. Some of these courses are a year long. Start to add to your educational background and you will be able to ask for that raise because you got additional training. You'll be able to ask for more money when you look for new jobs and just overall, you'll be more qualified moving forward. Although I do understand that you have to spend some money, but the benefit is going to be worth it in the long run. This last one's gonna be a little bit harsh. You might have to quit your job. If you ask for a raise, and you're undervalued, you're making minimum wage or way below what the going rate is, you're being paid cash for a family and they're not paying your taxes, whatever the situation. I see so many nannies complaining online about their current situation with their family and asking for advice on whether they should quit. Have another job before you quit. That's number one. And two, look for more money than you're making now. This may be your way to get more $10,000 more this year, but you're gonna have to leave your current situation. If you're not happy, if they're not treating you well, if they're not paying you well, it is time to move on and find someone who values you and what you bring to the table. Of course, I wanna reiterate, do not quit your current job until you have a new job, unless it's a really bad situation, but start looking for other work. If you go to your family and ask for a raise, like we talked about earlier, you're not getting paid enough and they turn you down and they say they're not interested in paying more, it might be your cue to move on and look for that next family that's gonna value you and pay you more so that you can get where you wanna be. Okay, that was the five ways to make an extra $10,000 this year. I know there's lots more ways. I'd love to hear it if any nannies have other ways they've made extra money, but it's $10,000 seems like such a huge amount of money. It, it really does. And, and people are like, oh, I would love to make an extra $10,000. But if you really break it down and just say, if I can just make 27 extra dollars a day, I can do it. That's how you get to that next level and make that extra money that you've been wanting to. I really hope that helps. 
If you have any comments, I'd love to hear from them below. Don't forget to subscribe. I think 98% of our viewers haven't subscribed to our channel, so we want to make sure you're notified every time we post a new video. But we'll be back next Saturday with another video, and we hope you have a great week. Bye!